There are thousands of different minerals out there, but only a few have been used by humans as long as hematite. Hematite was discovered as a pigment in pictographs that are more than 40,000 years old and was utilized by ancient Greeks, of course, and Babylonians, Egyptians, and Romans. Hematite was used for things as diverse as ornamentation, religious objects, amulets, even body paint. So what makes this mineral so special? So, hematite gets its name from the Greek root for blood, heme. It's the same root that gives us other blood-related words like hemophilia and hemorrhage. Blood. Blood. Hematite streaks a burnished red, and when cut, hematite produces a reddish-brown powder. Thanks to this unique property, hematite has been given many names. Bloodstone, warrior stone, kidney ore, paint ore, pencil ore, and red glass head are all nicknames for hematite. This is thanks to hematite's iron oxide composition. There are several different kinds of iron oxides, and you've probably heard of at least one of them, rust. Oil my arms, please. Oil my elbows. <laughs> In fact, hematite is most valued as a source of iron rather than as a standalone mineral. That said, well-formed hematite crystals are quite rare, and mineral collectors scoop them up when they can. And even though hematite is famous for its red one variety, rainbow hematite exhibits a multicolored iridescence. Hematite is also found as an inclusion in other minerals like quartz and sunstone, and the blood red streaks make for some beautiful specimens. Hematite has an ancient history, partly because it's the main component of red ochre. Ochres are hydrated iron oxide pigments and have been used for thousands of years in civilizations throughout the world. Some Paleolithic cave paintings, tens of thousands of years old, featured red ochre animals and prehistoric human handprints in red ochre relief. Some historians believe red ochre was used by Neolithic peoples in Eastern Europe for burial religious ceremonies, but others think it may be a coincidence. Iron oxide, after all, is a very common mineral. And in northern Namibia, the Himba people utilize hematite as a natural beauty aid. Red ochre and butter are combined to make a paste called ochias, a reddish, earthy makeup worn by Himba women on both their skin and hair. Beyond ornamentation, hematite is a mineral with a lot of interesting facts going for it. For example, hematite can become magnetic after heating it, but the charge is very, very weak. It's not likely you'd be able to move a magnet with a specimen of natural hematite. But there are man-made magnetic stones marketing themselves as hematite. However, if it's not composed of iron oxide, it's not hematite. God, yeah! Wait, wait a second! Are you telling me that you were faking? Uh-huh. Hematite is found in a type of rock called banded iron formation. Banded iron formation, or BIF, and no, not that BIF, is striped with silver black hematite, red jasper, and magnetite. What makes this so cool is that it represents the oxygenation of Earth's ancient atmosphere by bacteria that produce oxygen as a waste product. Lucky us. And when I say ancient, I mean ancient. These deposits are 1.8 to 2.5 billion years old. Have you ever ground up hematite to make your own ochre? If so, share your tips in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. And for more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.